Hey everybody, it's Nate and Seth from Explorers.life. We teach people how to build DIY campers. Welcome back to episode number 22 in our Ford Transit DIY Camper Van Build Series. In our last episode, we installed a 24 volt pneumatic air conditioner on the roof of our van. And in this episode, we're gonna be installing a max air fan right in front of that air conditioner. So let's get started. Now that we got our Max Air Fan 7500K uh, box, let's figure out what's inside. Got our instruction manual. The remote and batteries. <laughs> the hardware baggie with some assorted screws and spade connectors. The receiving flange. The interior trim ring. And of course, the fan itself. We also grabbed this adapter, which is not included with the Max Air Fan Kit. And this is just to sit on top of the roof and it's curved to meet the, uh, the ridges of the top of the van. And that came with uh, butyl tape and some more screws. We have all of our main parts and the next thing we wanna do is bench test this fan. And so we're gonna connect this fan to that fuse block that's connected to that 100 amp hour battle born lithium battery uh, so that we can make sure that this works before we actually glue it to the top of the van. We've got our 100 amp hour battle born lithium battery here, positive and negative terminals, positive and negative wires feeding our fuse block, and then positive and negative wires off the respective spots on the back of the fuse block to go to the positive wire of the Max Air fan here into this lever nut and the negative wire from the Max Air fan to the negative wire going to the negative bus bar. Now we can turn our battery switch on. We heard a beep, so let's flip this over and make sure it actually opens and the fan turns on. Cool, so the lid lifted up, the fan is now working. So we got pretty good confidence that it's going to actually work whenever we uh, install it up on the roof. The next thing that we need to do is make an interior support ring uh, out of some wood for the bottom of the fan so that we can mount it to. And that's the next step. I have the square cut out that's going to be underneath the roof of the van that everything is going to actually screw to. But in order to fit the curvature and the ribs of the underside of the van, I need to cut off 3.5 millimeters off of this side and this side where I've kind of scribbled that line. So over on my table saw, I have adjusted that so that I have a cut depth of 3.5 millimeters. And I'm just going to run that across in multiple passes and kind of shave off 3.5 millimeters off these edges. Just finished up this wooden support and notched off the sides so it fits nice and neat between the ribs on the inside of the van. And now that this is made, uh, it's time to go cut a hole. Now that the hole has been cut, it is time to install the fan. Uh, so we have this adapter we talked about earlier. It's going to sit down right on top of that. And this is going to be secured to the metal of the van with this 3M window weld. And then we're going to wait overnight for it to cure so that this is all nice and watertight whenever we drop this flange right on top. And the wood support structure on the bottom will go inside the van and that's what all this screws to.
Yesterday we finished mounting the flange to the roof of the van and let the sealant dry overnight. So we attached the, uh, the adapter to the roof and the flange to the top of the adapter and the wood support to the underside of the roof like you just saw. And for the sealant, it's just Dicor lap sealant. And the way that we put that on is we put a bead around the upper part of this flange and let it run for about five minutes and then put another bead around where it left off. And that stuff is really runny whenever you put it on. And it's made to kind of waterfall over the edge. And then we taped around the outside uh, so that everything is super, super waterproof. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open this fan up, put it on top of the flange here, and then put the screws in, the shorter screws that came in the hardware kit. And that's pretty much gonna wrap this up. And now the fan is secured to the roof and this video is pretty much over. Now there is this um, interior trim ring that is going to go on the bottom side of the fan, but we can't put that up yet until we put the ceiling on and we're just not there in the process yet. So consider subscribing because we will be installing this whenever we install the ceiling. The wires that are on the bottom of this fan, those are going to be uh, connected to the fuse block, which we'll be showing later on in the build as well, whenever we show how to wire the 12 volt fuse block. And that wraps up the installation of our Max Air fan on our Transit. Now we're gonna be showing the interior trim ring as well as the wiring once we get to that portion of this build, so stay tuned. If you're not sure how we got to this point in the build, be sure to click below and binge watch the rest of this playlist. Now if you are all caught up, tap here to watch the next video in the series where we're going to be installing our Unaka Gearco roof rack up on top of the Transit. See you in the next video.